When you just need a laugh or just a cuddle, these guys are there for you. My name's Andy. I have five rats currently. I've had some in the past before though. There's Jack, Victor, Edgar, Jason, Freddy. My name is Curtis uh, and I own two rats. This feels my white one. And then uh, my gray one here, or my black one, is Edgar. So I have several rats. I believe last I counted, I have 11. <laughs> I have smooth coat rats, Rex rats, and I have double Rex rats, which fall under naked. My name is Valerie, and I have currently three rats. Willow, Mora, Luma. Two of them are Rex, which means that they have kind of wavy curly fur and curly whiskers. One is cream colored and at the tip of her snout, she's kind of a dark brown. To people who are more skeptical of it, I would say there's a different breed for pet rats versus wild. It's kind of like comparing wolves and dogs. People have this misconception that they just like, they smell horrible and all that. Rats are dirty, rats are nasty, rats are unclean, rats are vicious, and it's, it's just not, it's not true. Rats are not only self-grooming, but they groom each other. They really don't smell, and if you actually smell the rat itself, to me, they actually smell like grape soda. The other myth I would say is that they are biters. They have never tried to actually bite me. They're really friendly. They never bite out of malice. They're nothing like the way that they're portrayed. Rats get a bad rat because of the plague. But it wasn't the rats, it was the fleas. I'd say that if people want to get rats, just make sure you do your research. Rats are very pack-like creatures. They need at least one other rat to help stimulate them so they're not lonely. Rats need two cubic feet per rat. The cage just takes a lot of time to clean. Appropriate care is super critical. They're not toys. They deserve just as much respect and love um, as any other pet. They don't have a long lifespan, which is very unfortunate. So you kind of have to be prepared for that. You fall in love with them so deeply and then you only have them for a short time. They enter your life and they love you and you love them. And then it seems so quick that they're gone. Still worth it because of the amount of love that they give and just how sweet and smart they are. They're a little mischievous buggers, but I love them. Every day they're cute, every day. I just like coming home and having a bunch of different critters around. I just can't imagine life without one now. 